Hello, everybody. It is uh, Monday afternoon. It is practice day for me and Warren, and today we are lucky enough to be playing against a very good pair that are also headed to Poland next week for the World Championships, uh, Dan Corbell and Eric Robinson. Um, we're going to play a Viewgraph set today uh, from the semifinals of the Soloways in 2019. I hope Warren has, and Dan didn't watch. They were both playing bridge at the time, so I don't think that they will have seen the hands, but uh, maybe we'll notice a couple boards in. We'll be like, hey, I recognize these hands. I, I'm pretty sure they do separate hands for the two semifinals because we were also in the semifinals that day in the, in the Soloways. Um, but I'm pretty confident that these are in different, uh, that they played different boards because you, we played in the same room as the other people. And I feel like whenever they do that, they make you play different hands. Uh, at least in the, in the uh, ACVL world. Hi, David. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to be starting at 1 o'clock. It's in a, a minute early. I got, I got the... Uh, the stream going live. It's a little hard for me to get it all going. There we are. And here's Warren and Dan. Hi all. And hello, France. Hello in France. France and London. This is cool. Nice. Thank you for saying hello. How are you guys doing? All right, so first hand here, I have a three-card spade fit for Warren. I have eight high-card points. I could call this uh, ten, ten dummy points. I'll give myself an extra point for my two doubletons, but ten dummy points is not enough uh, to show a limit raise, so I'm just going to raise the two spades, which Warren and I play is constructive. Uh, we wouldn't do this with a random six-point hand. We would go through one no trump first. All right. So Dan's four heart bid. He's bidding four hearts all by himself. I mean, it's hard to. It could be preemptive. He could be preempting, like expecting it to go four spades, hoping that his partner will sacrifice. Uh, but he's usually uh, okay. So do I have to bid? I don't think we're in a force because we're nobody's vulnerable, and it's not really clear whose hand it is. So I, I'm just gonna pass. Um, yeah, I'm on Twitch. Whenever I'm broadcasting live, I'm doing it through Twitch, YouTube, and uh, Facebook when I can. Yeah, the the best the best place to watch is definitely on Twitch, just because there's a delay over YouTube. Uh, yeah, well, I'm happy to keep you company on a rainy day. Uh, that's a pretty good dummy. Wow, all things considered. So now that we know Dan's hand was more like, like especially with that Ace of Hearts lead, is a funny lead. Um, Dan's got seven hearts. He's probably seven four. He's probably got a stiff spade and a stiff diamond, uh, or he's, he could even be seven five. Uh, I'm still gonna tell Warren to play uh, low. I'm going to play my low one. Not that Warren knows for sure that he could read my spot and the seven kind of looks high, but I would typically be giving him suit preference. All right, there we go. That's the card I was looking for. Queen of clubs. But now Dan should be able to figure it. This is a very weird play from Warren if he had ace queen. So this is probably telegraphing that I have the ace of clubs to Dan. So, And it turns out if Warren had just led the queen of clubs, I think we could have gotten an extra trick on this hand. Because what happens now is when Dan plays low from dummy, uh, I'm going to play the 9, and then I'm going to win the 8 the next time around, and I might be up for a club rough, but I won't be able to get Warren back in uh, because he already used his Ace of Hearts entry. I'm not a fan of leading the Ace of Trumps. It's not my... I, I, I feel like people use it as a an excuse or whatever, like, oh, let me look at dummy, but it's amazing how often that that costs the tempo of the hand. I guess the, the 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 trick is to broadcast early in the day to get the Europeans because I see lots of lots of Europeans on here France England UK there for Karen too and hey hey Jay Frizz early in the day although I'm usually on at this time of day I guess I, we don't get the Australians until I, unless I broadcast it's like you, you can pick either England or Australia like Europe or Australia because the the Australians don't really usually get up until later in the day all right so. Um, I'm going to win this. I'm going to play diamond over and hope that he, uh, um, I'm going to play the nine of diamonds. Well, he knows how many I have. He knows what's going on. So I'm just going to play my, my true card, which is, which is both third from even. And also in the middle of the hand, we play coded nines and tens. So my nine would show, um, 
All right, yeah, so this is what happened. We didn't get our club rough. Uh, he could have led queen. If he had queen, jack, ten of clubs, I don't know if he had queen, jack, ten of clubs. He might have just had queen, jack of clubs. Uh, anyway, at least we beat the hand. Uh, hey, Chris. Uh, so what's he, 7-4? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah, it would have been hard for him to lead the... Uh, So Dank is a uh, Dan Corbell. Uh, <laughs> um, he is a, one of the best bridge players in the world. Uh, he he's from Canada. I grew up playing in junior bridge against him. He's an amazing, amazing bridge player. Honestly, there's very few people out there who are as good as him. He, his card play is good. He's just he's he makes almost no mistakes from what I can see. His understanding, his bidding judgment's amazing. I have so much respect for him as a bridge player. Uh, and he's playing with Eric Robbins, who I, who I don't know. I don't, I'm singing all of Dan's praises. I don't really know Eric very well. I know that they're playing together in, uh, in, uh, um, in Poland. So that's what they, they were quick to say yes to practice. So I was very happy about, um, yeah, it's easy to just you just go to twitch.tv slash Wolperbridge. You don't need an account or anything to watch there. He is a very nice guy too, Dan. He's very, very calm. Okay, so partner made a negative double. He's jumped to three hearts, which is interesting. Um, splinter? What is that? He could have cubed two hearts. So I'm going to double to let him know I have the sixth heart. I think this is an important thing for me to do. I don't have a great hand, but I, I feel like if I don't do this now, I'm, I'm kind of saying he took my bid a little bit. Uh, but if I pass, uh, he's never going to know to bid four hearts on a doubleton. At least if I double, he's going to know. Let's see. I wonder what he means three hearts as. It could be a splinter. Uh, it's not a mixed raise because it's above three diamonds. It's like sometimes jump cubiting is mixed raises, but this one's too high. It takes you all the way to four. So, uh, All right, so there we go. I got my four heart bid out of Warren. That's what I was hoping for. If they bid five diamonds, I'm just going to take a piece of it. I'm not, I, I don't expect to make five hearts, and I don't think that they're making five diamonds. So uh, I'm just going to double them, and maybe, and hopefully if they do bid five diamonds, my best, best case scenario is that we weren't making four hearts. That's what my, my dream is, but I really don't believe we're making five. So... Um, I'm just going to double, and that kind of hopefully will tell Warren, you know, I'm, I'm, I'd rather defend. All right, well, I have the ace jack of spades sitting over the dummy. Um, I'm going to tell partner here with my suit preference, I'm going to tell him I want spades. So I'm going to give him the nine of hearts, the high, a high one to tell him I want spades. Uh, I'm the one who's getting in though right now with the ace of diamonds. Now, I need Warren to have an entry. Um, I need Warren to have an entry here. I don't think that there's a good reason for me to shift to a club right now. That's actually going to give up a club trick if Warren has the king. Uh, so I'm not going to play a club right now from queen 930, even though that's the way I'm going to get Warren in. I'd rather have Declare do it. I don't think it's going to hurt me to lead the queen of hearts back here. Uh, I don't think Warren's got five hearts, so they're not going to get a rough and slough. Um, although maybe if Declare's got the king of hearts and he throws away a spade, that would mean he's got three, two, six, two... That could happen, if, but then Warren has to have queen ten of spades. I'm leading the queen of clubs. It's too likely that me breaking clubs is going to cost a trick, so I'm going to lead the queen of hearts back and see what happens. So it looks like Dan has... What does Dan have? He has four hearts and six diamonds, so now... 
He he has six diamonds. He didn't draw trumps. He also played low on the queen of hearts. So that seems like, and I know, I saw Warren led high, low, and hearts. So that means he's got a doubleton or four, but he doesn't have four hearts and make a negative double. So I know Declare's got four hearts and six diamonds. And now it looks like he's got a stiff king of, of, of clubs. Now hopefully Warren remembers my nine of hearts at trick one. And now he's just got to lead the queen of spades for me. I, I'm going to, as long as Warren, this is a situation where Warren really needs to give me attitude in spades. So if, like if he leads the spade back, I really need him to play a low one to tell me he's got the queen. He could lead the queen, but if Declare has the jack, that would be taking away Declare's guess. But I think if, as Warren thinks about it, he's going to realize, yeah, that Declare is never going to get that guess wrong. So, so he might as well not make my life difficult. Uh, down two and four hearts was not making. It looks like we had we had three heart losers and a club loser, so that was ideal, absolutely ideal. Um, I have a balanced eleven count. It wasn't ideal. We're losing nymphs, but let me let me I'll check that out in a second. Eleven. White against red. I got some spot cards. I'm gonna open, um, even though I'm four to three three three. Warren may, may not like this opening bid. Um, oh, we lost eight and a half imps on the first board because oh, one table went five hundred down. How do you go five hundred down? Wait, first one, four spades, and then Ralph did not bid. And then in the other room. Eleven decided to oops. Eleven decided to make a maximal double, have it go four hearts, four spades by my hand, accepting game, five hearts double, and then he led the king of spades. Oh, and he just played a club up. Uh, sorry, I I need to take a phone call in case it's an emergency. It's my wife. Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, all right, I have a, I have to I have no choice in my system here but to rebid one no trump. I'm allowed to raise with three card support, but I I wouldn't do it. Um, I I wouldn't do it with a four three three hand ever. Uh, and but I'm not allowed to respond to re rebid a spade. Okay, so Dan passed over a club, and now he's coming back bidding clubs. So the, he's got a long club suit. I psyched him out of clubs here. It looks like when when uh, when I opened a club, and now he's he's come back in. He could come back in two clubs. That would also be clubs here. Uh, I'm surprised. Like uh, maybe they're not on firm ground, but a club three club overcall uh, also would, especially vol against not a three club overcall would show a good hand with seven clubs. That's what I would play with Warren. Is that when they open a major and you jump to three of a major, that would be uh, old fashioned is asking for a stopper uh, if partner has it. But it, when it goes a minor and you overcall three of a minor, their suit, like a club, three clubs, that we would play as a long club suit. And it would be vulnerability based. Like here, vol against not. I think that they. Uh, uh, would show a pretty good hand. Um, no, I do not usually open 4 triple 3 11 counts. Almost never. I did it this time because I was first chair white red and I had the jack 10 of clubs. I found a little excuse. I mean, white, white red first chair, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, okay. Well, that's not key card. We play one over key card, but that's not key card. So Warren was, he was afraid three diamonds would be non-forcing. I have an amazing hand for him. I have like, I'm going to just bid four hearts, but I am really worried that we don't have we we might have a slam, so I'm gonna bid four hearts, and uh, I have the perfect three cards for him. Right, I need almost nothing to. Uh, in fact, I, I regret my four heart bid already. How could we not be making a slam now that I'm thinking about it? If Warren's like six five in the red suits, he was strong enough to jump to four diamonds. What was his four diamond? I have to think about that. Maybe maybe. Ah, we we're making a slam. I I should have I should have bid five hearts or something, five hearts or. F oh, hello. So that's great that he doubled four spades a cubit. I'm gonna pass to show interest in slam. Um. Because I have a really, really good hand. This is amazing that he bit again. I'm passing. Uh, we play redoubles of first round control. 
Um, then over redouble, I don't have a club control. I figured Warren was going to redouble, but now Dan took away that opportunity. I denied a first round control in spades when I passed. Yeah, so now Warren, Warren, this is so weird. How does Warren have two little clubs? How does he have this hand? Was four diamonds a self splinter? Huh. Maybe he was splintering in diamonds in support. I don't have a club control. But how is it possible that I have the Ace King of Hearts and the Queen of Diamonds in this spot? I just don't see how it's possible. I could have wasted club points. I could have wasted spade points. I just have to figure out what, what Warren's four diamond bid means. Maybe he meant it as a splinter, because three diamonds would be forcing. Uh. He could have passed over five clubs. I just can't believe that I have the Ace, King of Hearts, and the Queen of Diamonds. The only question is, what is four diamond bidman? If it's four diamond bid was natural and forcing, then I have the moon for him. I have everything that he could ever ask for. It was a good five club bid by Dan. He took away the opportunity for Warren to show a club control. I just think Warren's got a club void. I think he's three five five zero. Oh. Or two six five zero. Oh. I just don't see how he could have a slam try here with like I have the ace king of hearts and the queen of diamonds. Well, if we're off the two clubs, I I I have no choice. I'm going to slam. I, I I felt like I underbid when I bid four hearts. I I can't not bid slam here. I I maybe we have seven. If he's got ace and one, queen fifth, ace king fifth, ace and one. No, he needs ace king doubleton, queen sixth. Ace King fifth. Yeah, he, he he's annoying, Dan. <laughs> he does this to you. He's he's definitely made good bids here. I'm just bidding slam. We might have seven, but I can't I can't bid five spades. I don't have a first round control to show him. I'm just bidding six hearts and if we're down then I don't know. Warren might have just been trying to say he's off a of club control. He get he's getting a diamond rough, Dan. Ah, we belonged in six diamonds. Maybe I should bid seven diamonds. Oh my God, what is going on? All right, well, whatever. I'm not running to seven diamonds, but he's getting a diamond rough to start this hand. Yeah, but if he's getting a diamond rough, diamonds are breaking badly, and wow, okay. So he needed to give a diamond rough and then cash a club to beat this hand. Well, tough one. So that's that was a lightener double that you just saw from Dan. That's why I was cr pretty quick to say he had a diamond rough. I but uh, to be fair, I also knew that I had a three card diamond fit for Warren's second suit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan's right that he would have to cash the right one at trick two, but he could also see that um, the club could go away and the spade couldn't go away. So he would definitely cash the club first. But yeah, there he, go. there he goes. <laughs> um, all right, I get to go right back at him with a straight three club bid and test our methods, see how this goes for us. I don't know if this is going to work out well or not, but uh, you get to see both, both ways of looking at this.
kind of funny that it came up right one after another. Well, that was a ridiculously interesting hand, that board three. See, this is what, one of the most awkward things about this three club bid. Like, th their doubles are not penalty, right? Like, it's they have to play takeout doubles. Uh, like, if 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 East has, uh, he's got to be able to reopen, and West has to make negative doubles. So it's very hard for them to double you when you play this convention or not convention or this way. And it's, so it's actually a very preemptive bid. They have no Q bid. Like, they imagine he's. 4-4 four, four in the majors. What is he going to bid? Four clubs telling his partner to bid four of a major? All right, I'm going to play the king. Uh, this is going to be suit preference and attitude at the same time. Uh, when Warren and I, when we lead a card that could be a singleton, we typically give our partner suit preference, even if it doesn't for, isn't for sure a singleton. Uh, so when I play the king of clubs, I'm telling him to play the highest suit. I would I would always give him, like, if I had the king of diamonds, I would play the two of clubs. If I have the king of spades, I'm going to play the, the a high club. Um, and we both know that he could be leading a singleton, and he's going to be thinking about how to get me in. That's the idea for why we play suit preference in this situation. It's a good dummy, but they it could be on a 4-3 hard fit. In fact, they rate to be on a 4-3 hard fit at this stage, and it's not going to be an easy hand to play if they're on a 4-3 hard fit. So declare is going to be something like 3-4-4-2. Um, four, four, but he could be 4-4-3-2. Four, four, so anyway, I'm playing low second hand. I don't think that there's any reason for me to pop up with the king. Uh, all right, he got that right. I think he's going to do fine now. I'm going to high low in hearts to tell him to play spades, but it's too late. Dan did it already. Snuck my spade through. Because now, now it's going to turn out that Dan can do a loser on a loser. So, or if even if um, he's going to be able to throw a spade away, I screwed up by not taking my king of spades. Or maybe he's got five hearts, and then it doesn't matter. Doesn't look like he has five hearts. He's four 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 one, three four five one. Well, I'm sure we could have done better on this hand. What does the the gib say? So we couldn't beat it. Yeah. Somehow we blew another trick somewhere in there. Maybe Warren's Queen of Hearts play might not have been the winner. All right, six high card points, four card support, and a singleton. This is nine dummy points for me. I have six highs, and I give myself three points for the singleton club. Uh, I'm going to show a uh, mixed raise, so seven to ten, four plus hearts. Uh, that's right, we're right in the wheelhouse of what this hand is worth. 
dummy points are when you're giving support for your partner, when you're showing support. I know I'm going to take more than just these two kings as tricks. I'm going to get to rough clubs. The four hearts is going to take another trick for me. Got to give myself some points for it. That's the premise behind dummy points. You only do it when you're supporting your partner. And when you have four card support like this and a nine card fit, you have a particularly good hand. Uh, are particularly likely to get rough, so you certainly have to add the dummy points here for 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 the singleton club. So if I like had another queen, I would treat this hand like a limit raise, even though I only have eight high card points. I would give myself three points for that singleton and come to eleven, and I would have showed a four card limit raise. All right, so. At first glance here in four hearts, he might be able to use the spades to throw away the diamonds, but it looks like we're going to need the queen of diamonds to be with east. Uh, there's a chance that we can avoid that. Like if west has both the ace of spades and the ace of clubs, then we may never have to worry about the diamond suit because we'll be able to use the queen of spades, jack of spades, the king of spades, the nine of spades to throw away diamonds. If west has both the black aces, east will never get in. The trump lead makes me think that East has two out of the three aces. Uh, they probably have an honor in every suit. Um, just when you're leading a trump, I mean, who knows what their trump lead's from, but... What was the count there? This is a spot where they, they usually have to give you true count. Uh, so they both played low. I don't even, haven't even asked them what their carding is. You'd expect the person without the ace to give their partner true count. Uh, so that so he played low high. So if they're playing... Sta oh, there's the ten of spades anyway. So at this point, uh, east can see the spades are good. Okay, the queen of diamonds is on side. Um, that was actually a very smart play, that queen of diamonds. It was a, uh, In case it was, their, their three tricks were the ace, jack, ten of diamonds. He didn't know his partner had the ace of clubs, so uh, it might have been that the queen of diamonds was his only way to take four tricks. It turns out it made Warren's life a little easier. He, he made it so that Warren didn't have to guess the diamonds. Uh, but from a legitimate perspective, uh, it, all East needed to beat the contract was his partner to have the ace, jack, Ten of diamonds, and that seems like a the right thing to play for. So that was a good play. Uh, didn't matter. It may, well, I mean, Warren may have gotten the diamonds wrong if he let a low diamond. Um, which look, playing partner for two aces versus ace jack ten. All right, sorry, I have a good hand here. Seventeen. It's weird. Seventeen. Like I get, I'm I'm gonna overcall a no trump, although. Maybe it's better white against red that I just pass and defend. I think that that's I'm I'm gonna pass and defend. Uh, like a no trump might be right. We might make four hundred, but I have a feeling we might just get a chance to. And now we really well, very well might get a chance to defend. Okay, well, so they're in one heart. Not thrilled about this. Warren had three hearts probably because he didn't balance. So dummy's probably gonna hit with a heart void. Or Warren's got one or two hearts, and then we don't have a game, and then it probably doesn't matter. So I'm going to leave the Ace of Diamonds and see what happens. Okay, so Warren only had two hearts. So he, the fact that he didn't reopen uh, with only two hearts uh, makes me think that Declarer has a big hand, that, that Declarer has like 18 or 19 points. Uh, so I'm just going to tap Declarer. I don't see, like, my 6, 5, 4, 3 of hearts are not going to take tricks unless I force Declarer to rough. So I'm just going to keep playing diamonds and make Declarer play out of their hand. I, I don't think that there's any benefit for me to do anything else here on this hand. But I am expecting Declarer to have a really strong hand. Okay, Warren gave me suit preference for spades there because the 6 is his highest diamond. I guess Warren might have only like six points or something. Six highs, he wouldn't reopen double, but. I have to duck in case Warren's got singleton ace. I 
don't think that's going to cost me. So I probably have the Trump lead on this N. I probably have one more Trump than Declare. Because I forced him to rough already. So if he started with five, I'm, I'm one ahead of him. If he started with six, though, um, then we have the same number. I really don't think Warren's got Singleton Little Heart. That's he didn't. Okay. So Declare is going to take four heart tricks. Nothing I could do to stop that. I have to stop him from taking three more. But now, so Warren first high load in diamonds, but now told me he doesn't like spades. Um, I'm going to put Declare back in. Should I do that? I can put him back in a number of ways. I can put Ace of Clubs in a club. Yeah, Ace of Clubs in a club looks like it might be the best thing to do because... Well, let's see. So let's say he's 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 four five three one four five one three four five one three or three five one four. Doesn't feel like he's got four clubs. So I think he's four five one three. So if if Warren has the king of clubs. Ace Queen Jack of Diamonds, Queen of, Ace Queen Jack of Hearts is seven, the Queen of Diamonds is nine, and the King of Spades is twelve. Twelve and seventeen is twenty nine and two is is thirty one. So Warren would have a nine count and not have reopened if he's got the King of Clubs and the Ace of Spades. That's what I'm thinking. King of Clubs and Ace of Spades, but he doesn't have five spades, Warren. Did he he didn't balance with five spades? I, well, because I'm I, the reason not to tap him again is is I'm gonna we're gonna end up getting end played to play spades. If Warren has the king of clubs, I'm gonna want to go ace of clubs, club to the king, club rough, and and then put Declare in, and then Declare is gonna get stuck leading spades out of their hand. If I tap him right now, Declare can get out a club, and then we're gonna be the ones left be, playing spades. So that's why I'm thinking about not playing a uh, a diamond back. But I think Declare has the king of clubs. He would have played a club up maybe like. Uh, whatever, I'm doing it. Ace of clubs in a club. I don't think it could really be worse to play ace of clubs in a club. Now I'm still tapping him out. I think, right? I feel like I'm, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting the lead now in trumps. Somebody in chat want to handle saying what uh, coded nines and tens means? It is learned it's hard for me to answer questions and follow the play at the same time. All right, well, yeah, Warren had a Yarborough, basically. That's why he didn't balance with his five-card spade suit. It's weird to me that he played high-low in diamonds. Seven plus five um, is 12. I'm going to open a diamond, although this is actually not a bad hand to pass and, uh, and, and come in with a takeout double, but I think it's a little bit too powerful. Uh, I just want to check what happened there. Why did Warren high-low in diamonds? Oh, he didn't. He played three and six. I, I misread the spots. So <laughs> that hand would have been a lot easier if I had read that Warren told me. Uh, uh, all right, I, I hate doing this, but I'm doing it because it's a singleton honor. 
I really hate this. If you come to my lessons, you'll know I really hate rebidding one no trump with a singleton. But I don't like. I I don't think two clubs is the right bid. It'll, two clubs is going to kill the heart suit. Um, yeah. So nines. There you go. There's your answers for the nine. Nine nines and tens shows no higher cards or two higher cards. Um, a diamond, a spade, and no trump. Two clubs forces two diamonds because we play two way new minor forcing. Basically, my favorite convention. I would say that that if you're going to tell me one thing, this thing and serious three no trump are probably my two that I, I or non serious three no trump or whatever. But those are the two conventions that you couldn't you could not take off of my convention card. Enough in hand. Leads and carding. Okay, third and fifth. So Dan's either got three or five spades. He didn't overcall, but he does have five little. Uh, I know that the ace, king of spades are both here because he won the king. Well, he could have underled the ace of spades, I guess. He would maybe wouldn't have been so quick to put up that king. I should be okay here. If diamonds are 3 2, I'm going to lose one diamond, one spade, one heart, and two clubs. Uh, if the diamonds don't break, I'm in trouble. Although I might not have to lose two clubs. If he's got honor and a club. So if he's got, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's got, oh, he could have five spades of the ace king. It did go a diamond pass a spade. So, all right, well, I'm definitely throwing. Okay, so he does have five spades of the ace king. Um, which means I can just, can I set up the dummy spade rough heart to the king? Yeah. No, I, I got to play a heart first. He should know my whole shape once I showed out in spades. Well, he's getting close. Um, all right. Well, I, I mean, I don't see a way around. Uh, I can win this. Do I, is it going to hurt me to duck? Yeah, I need to go. I need to win this. I need to play Ace of Diamonds. And a diamond to the king. Okay, so now um, rough a spade. Queen, Jack, and hopefully nine of hearts to throw away both the clubs. Yep, okay. They get one trick. I'm going to use the nine of clubs to throw away the jack of clubs. And
That was another 4-4 fit hand. They're interesting. You can see that it, I, I delayed drawing trumps for a little bit. I first knocked out that ace of hearts first. That was kind of to cater to a possible 4-1 diamond break. If the diamonds are 4-1 and I started by playing the ace king of diamonds and then I played the king of hearts to knock out the ace, then they might have just been able to win the ace of hearts and draw my trumps. So 4-4 fits, it's, it's kind of often that you have other things... Um, um, oh, okay, let's think about this one, sorry. So if I bid a spade, unfortunately, that's going to make it very difficult for me later in the auction to set a game force in hearts. But if I don't bid a spade, he's never going to believe me that I have five spades. So I'm going to bid a spade. This could get uncomfortable. I've seen this problem before, uh, you know, where I bid a spade, he bids two diamonds or two hearts. Two hearts I'll, I'll survive with. Okay, one no rebid, I'm fine. So now I have 17. Do I want to look for slam? If my partner has the king, queen of hearts, the king of diamonds, and the king of spades, we are completely cold for slam. That is 11 points. So not completely cold, but virtually cold for slam. Uh, but if... How am I going to do this? So I can bid two diamonds to set the game force. If he bids two spades, I can splinter. But honestly, I guess I can see some slams. If partner has weak hearts and king, queen of clubs, I might be able to throw away my hearts. I'm imagining king of spades, king, queen of clubs, king of diamonds. It's going to be a hard one to get to that slam. Four clubs, I think he'd take that as a splinter in support of my own suit, not in support of hearts. So maybe the best thing to do right here is to bid three hearts, setting trumps, and looking for slam. But man, it could not, it could be wrong to play in hearts. I have to check back to play for spades, because if the hearts are 5-0, spades is just better. Spades is just going to play better. So I'm going to bid two diamonds. Um, artificial game for us. I'm going to do that because I really feel like spades, it has to be right to play spades and not hearts uh, if he has a spade fit. Because imagine partner's got jack fifth of hearts and then and king third of spades. You know, like we're going to play hearts, which there we go. Okay, so we I, I got a fit from him. So now I can splinter four clubs. Uh, ace, king of diamonds, queen of hearts, king of spades is 12 points. That's the route I'm going. I'm going to splinter four clubs, although that is going to tell them what to lead. Um... I'm splintering four clubs. I want him to have all his points outside of clubs. If he's got a maximum... Okay, I'm going to show him that I have a heart control. Yeah, but it's just too hard to bid that slam, Krish. I, I, I don't want him to have, like, king jack of clubs. Uh, so so I'm, I'm not... I'm not uh, I'm going to tell him we have everything, and then hopefully now he'll evaluate his hand. He was going to bid four diamonds. What, uh, the, what's the problem, Slam? Ace, king of diamonds, queen of hearts, king of spades. That's 12 points where we're on a finesse. I, I don't know. I, I, I splinter. With, I'm, I have no rules about whether I splinter with singleton aces or not. I, I'm been trying to build the best auction for getting to slam. And as you can see, that I feel like splintering with a singleton ace here is the right approach. So I, I'm not... Uh, I don't have strong rules. I, I, I've, I'm i battling with this right now. With like On my Tuesday game, I, ha I showed a singleton ace. As a sing singleton, everybody's like, I thought you don't show singleton aces. I don't know. I'm just trying to make a, make a good auction for getting to slam. Here, I've constructed an auction that if my partner's got 13 points outside of clubs, we're going to get to slam. And I think that's a pretty good approach. I don't see how I could get to slam on on the, the the hands where he's got the king queen of clubs like I, uh, and not just four scattered honors uh, sorry so four no i have uh three so i'm gonna bid five clubs yeah yeah partner might if i'm i i'm was willing to concede to missing slam when partner has king queen third of clubs that's the that's what i chose to do when i bid four clubs you're you're right but i'm also trying not to get to slam when partner has the king of clubs the king of diamonds the king of hearts and the king of spades where i just have four losers kind of thing queen of hearts you know like there 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 there's a trade off i can't you can't be perfect on these hands and now i'm going to jump to 6 and um Actually, that's not a bad thing that he's doubled five spades, uh, five diamonds, because I have the queen. So 
I'm going to bid six uh, spades. I have the queen, and I don't have any kings. Partner will, he won't misevaluate with king, queen, third of clubs, fourth, fourth. He will stop. That's, that's, I knew that that was going to happen when I splintered. Who knows if we have a slam or not, though. I mean, we could easily be on a finesse here if he's got... I don't know what the double is. He's got the king of diamonds over there. Yeah, we're on a finesse, so... And Dan didn't lead a diamond. Weird. He knew I showed shortness in clubs. But he still decided to lead the king of clubs instead of leading a diamond. Why did he lead the king of clubs instead of leading a diamond? What is happening? Your partner doubled, I showed a splinter, and you're still leading the king of clubs. What could you be thinking that you're deciding to lead the king of clubs instead of leading a diamond? He doesn't have a diamond void. It's, I don't think so. So, But I still need to get this diamond, this heart right. Spades could be breaking badly. That's one thing that could be happening. I can win this. If the spades are breaking badly, then then I, m I might be able to figure out who has the queen of hearts. Like, let's say I win the ace of clubs, I play queen of spades, spade to the king, and I see that somebody has... Is, has uh, Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to win the Ace of Clubs. I don't have to worry about my little diamonds. They're going to go away on the hearts. Uh, I'm going to win the Ace of Clubs. I'm going to play the Queen of Spades out of my hand and a Spade to Dummy. And if, if the Spades are 4-1, I'm probably going to finesse a heart into Dan. I mean, if if Dan's got a Singleton Spade. or if, Sorry, if Dan's got four Spades, which is what I think is going on. No? Okay. So now I'm just down to the heart finesse. I'm going to draw trumps and play it the percentage way. Um, and the percentage way is to play ace of hearts, heart to the jack. Because there I can pick up a 4-1 heartbreak. Okay, claim. See, it's annoying. Warren had two jacks, the jack of diamonds and the jack of hearts, and he only had 12 points. So I was kind of rooting for him to have 13, uh, and or or like just that those two jacks makes the queen of hearts, and and we're uh, We, I constructed an auction where Warren got a vote. He got to, we, we got to the point where I, he knew that I had short clubs and that I needed him to have a, a, the best hand that he could have. He decided with his with his 12 points and and all outside of the club suit that it was worth going to slam. I, it's hard to blame him. It's hard to see how it's ever going to be worse than a finesse from either of our perspectives, so I guess it's not a big deal.
No, four hearts would show to show to heart control. No, there's no last train in that spot. No, uh, we had enough. We had enough uh, room to to show all of our controls. Um, okay. I can leave the king of clubs here. Dummy's hitting with four hearts. He jumps to two no trump. Is, w w partner, w how many points can I really take for partner? They've got. Well, I don't know. They have part, we have, they have twenty six at least, so or twenty five at least. I have eight, so thirty three. The most points partner could have is seven. If I leave the queen of spades, partner didn't raise me. He could have safely raised me easily. He could have safely raised me. We have a way to bid two spades with a weak hand, so I know I'm not catching a three card spade fit. I don't think we're gonna beat it if I leave the queen of spades, unless they're just down because diamonds are breaking badly. And the hearts are offside. So I'm thinking maybe the best approach is to try to set up partner's club suit. I think setting up the club suits are better because I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. I don't think that we're going to beat it if I leave the queen of spades. I just don't see it. I don't have enough entries. They can duck a spade even if the only chance, like, I'm not going to get in with the queen. I'm definitely leading a club. I, I, I could be wrong, but this looks like the, this looks like the winner. Like, I just, I don't know why he didn't lead it, but it didn't matter. I mean, it made no difference what he led. So I'm pretty happy with my lead at this stage. Once dummy hit with the king of spades, like I know I had no future in in the spade suit. Um, like they could declare, could have just ducked it and kept me off lead for the whole hand. At least now that I've led a club, like if my partner does have ten fifth or jack fifth of clubs, um, we're 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 well on our way to beating this hand. Now I'll find out right now with partner's card. I hope partner encourages. Give me the eight, Warren, and let me know I've done the right thing. I mean, I've done at this point. I've probably done the right thing, no matter what, because uh, they ducked. Like it's not like I just set up their long club suit, and I just don't see a future in spades. So, yeah, I don't think partner partner definitely doesn't have the ace of spades. Partner might have the ten of spades. Six of clubs, seven of clubs. So Warren's giving me attitude, and he's played the six. I just don't see how we're ever beating this hand if I don't like the hearts are going to set up. I have four little, so they're going to come. They are they have twenty seven points, and they have this source of tricks of hearts that they're. So I feel like if I don't lead the king of clubs back, but why is he playing the six? He would have played the eight from ten eight fifth. Jack six four three. That's possible. Jack six four three is possible. Um, yeah, that so him playing really slowly there would tell me that that's not the case, which is not something obviously I can take advantage of. It's very important you don't take advantage when your partner gives you slow signals. So the six could have been jack six four three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play the king of clubs, even though I'm I would be willing to bet that this is the wrong play. Um, we'll see what happens.
I don't think we were beating this hand, regardless of my play. I hope that the Jack of Clubs was not his only ninth trick, but I just don't see that being possible. Oh, did, what if Declare's got a stiff heart? Maybe then I've screwed up. Could he? Maybe. Four, one, five, three, with stiff king of hearts. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he could have that, for sure. Then the hearts were not very useful. Well, good news is he's still thinking. So I'm like, look, lead couldn't have been that bad. Either that or my lead gave him his only chance imaginable. He only has one more dummy entry. He might have ace doubleton of hearts and not realize that he's got four heart tricks. Um, I can't. Can it? Can it ever matter for me to keep hearts? No. Well, whatever. It can't really matter for me to keep spades either. Oh, maybe it could have. Yeah, I might have just blown something by keeping hearts. Doesn't feel good. If he has ace king doubles and a hearts, then there's really not a lot. I mean, he's he, he's gonna pop ace. Play the ace king of hearts. We don't play them on opening lead, Krish. We play them just, just in the middle of the hand. If you're just tuning in, got free duplicate game tomorrow uh, through my teaching website Wolper Bridge if you if you've never played in our BBO it's on BBO at 3 30 in the afternoon uh ev anybody's welcome it's free to play and then we we get together afterwards in the zoom in a zoom to go over the hands um yeah you just we just need your BBO name if you email it to support at wolperbridge.com we'll get you in there ideally not just at 3 28 sometime earlier and please feel free to bring a partner anybody anywhere Yeah, he got it. He was dead to rights without queen and a heart there, though. I don't think that it was kind of nothing. Let's see what happened. Anybody lead what I led? No, Weinstein didn't, but that was in a different auction. Transfer to hearts. That's me. And Aaron led the queen of clubs, got the eight. Ah, he got the eight discouraging. And shifted to the Queen of Spades. That's really weird. All 
All right, three jacks to lead from. Uh, close my eyes and pick one. I guess I'll just lead from my four card suit. Spades is the suit that the dummy is least likely to have, so that there's that too, because they might have stamened if they were four or five. Good news is we were not beating this hand. This is the one thing about imps. It's funny that at match points you'd be in the grind right now. Like, okay, we're playing two hearts. So we got to take every trick we possibly can. At imps, you see this dummy come down, and I see that hearts are breaking three three, and they've got a singleton spade. Like, I, I know there's no chance we're beating this, and I don't care if they make four or five or six. Like, I I am a complete energy conservation. I, I'm all about co conserving my energy, um, and and. I couldn't care less about whether they make over tricks. Like, I don't mind if we lose two imps. I don't mind what's going on. I'm just not going to spend my my energy trying to hold a hand to two when it was making three or hold it to three when it was making four. Uh, that is the, a bad use of energy. And if you're playing, I mean, obviously today we're, I'm just playing a, a single set of boards with Warren, but my I'm just so trained to check out of hands that I know we're making. My, I, it's just something I've learned over the years that I, I have no interest in, in, in fighting over those imps. You can have them because I need my energy for the big decisions. Like I don't, I'm not even following what's going on in the hand. Warren put up the Queen of Spades at trick one. That much I remember. So. I did make the best lead, it looks like. So much of this game is robotic. Second hand low, third hand high. You know, if it's wrong, it's wrong, but... You are not getting a sub button, uh, Greg, I'm sorry, because uh, I need to be able to post this stuff on YouTube, because uh, I, I like my videos to stay up forever instead of just disappearing after three weeks, and if I, subs if I become a Twitch, whatever you want to call it, fancy person, then I don't get to do that. So, like, if they take that out of their out of their little terms of service, you can still post your videos in other places. Once you're a Twitch person, I will gladly take money from 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 you uh, Twitch people. But no, I I don't think I'm getting rich off it. And I just prefer to have the YouTube as a backup. Can you comment on them forever and ask questions and answers and stuff like that? Like that, I, I was, I haven't really had any anybody interact with any of my old old uh, old videos on Twitch. I don't know if you can or can't, but um, like I get, I'll, I'll constantly like I'll have people commenting on my videos that I made a year ago on YouTube and. Yeah, so. Am I end played? I am. What am I going to do? I'm going to play a club. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. You can. Yeah, I will take this for five dollars. Greg doesn't even like classes. He he. he he gets them. I've interacted more with Greg than almost anybody, and he he's he's he smiles and offers me five dollars. But all he's thinking is, I'm so glad I don't have to talk about any computer programs with Gavin ever again. All right. 
he did well. Did we did we lose imps on that one? No, we held him to two and won a half an imp. All right, old fashioned two over one. My two no rebid could or may or may not have stoppers. Uh, we just this is our default bid. If I bid two of major, it would promise six. I'm a big believer in it. All right, so he's inviting me to slam, knowing that I'm 11 to 13 balanced. So he should have 19, 20 in this spot. Uh, because with 14, I would have opened one no. So I have 12 stray values. I don't have good heart spots. I'm going to go low on this hand and just pass. Uh, but if I had, like, I would be willing to accept the slam try here with 12 because I open all 11s and I would upgrade all 14. So if I had a good 12 count, I would bid slam. So I'm, I'm expecting Warren to have closer to 20 here than 18, 19. I would think that, that given our style, but um, he could have 19. 19 to 20 is, okay, he had 18. Um, interesting. He, well, he had the five card, uh, the five card club suit. Yeah, so what do we have here? Four club tricks, three diamonds is seven, ace of hearts, ace king of spades is ten, and the, maybe a heart finesse is uh, eleven. Let's win this and take a club finesse. Ah, the jack of spades is a very interesting card because that means that I, I will almost surely get to safely take a heart finesse. I'm only missing the nine and the queen of spades right now. And if they play back a spade, now I can just claim. They just get one spade. I can go ace of spades and a spade and give them the spade, building my spade trick. I don't think he's supposed to, with 18, invite there. I'll talk to him about it afterwards, because like, I can I can't have more than thirteen. It's such a it's such a clear spot for us that we open four we open all fourteens with five card majors one no, so eighteen is asking for trouble. And and it's such a great spot to not have to invite with eighteen. Yeah. So what do you want to get to 31 point slams? Is that what your goal is? Like, I don't think so. I think your goal is to get to 32 with five card suit or 33. Uh, you can't count. How many points can you give yourself? At some point you need to take 12 tricks and, and 31 points is not going to do it, you know? So, um, all right. I could either double or pass or bid two clubs. I'm, two clubs are very low on my list. I could pass, but the chances are I might not get a chance to pass one. No pass two diamonds would be ideal. I think I might just double now and be done with it. I'm not bidding two clubs. I'm going to pass. I think pass is marginally better. And if it goes two hours pass, pass, I'll balance two spades and he will know what's going on. Wow, pass, pass, a heart, pass. And now Warren's got f too many hearts to balance. I hope both. But if he bids one, no, I'll be very happy. But. All right, that's not great. Not a great. I'm not very happy this happened. We easily might have missed a vulnerable game. Um, I could have. I could have doubled. Well, that was interesting. Ten of diamonds won, so...
And then Warren, what did Warren play on that trick? He played the uh, the five. So he's going to give me suit preference on that trick because he knows I've led shortness. So I'm going to win this and I'm going to play a club. Unfortunately, declare has got five, five, four, it looks like, five hearts and four diamonds. I'm trying to tell him that I don't want a diamond rough by leading the two of clubs. Um, I would lead a high club if I wanted the diamond rough, just to say I don't like clubs. No, if I doubled any bid two diamonds, I'd have to live with it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I don't. If I bid three clubs, that would be a power double, or or two spades, or whatever. Do a lot of you watch on bridge base at the same time while you're watching the stream? Like, so you can see all four hands, even though I can only see one? I know if you're watching as a video, that's obviously not possible. So, unfortunately, he didn't read my, my two of clubs. We had the opportunity to tap Declare out here, and we and we didn't. Um, I think that if, we'd made, if we had forced Declare to rough... Yeah, interesting. So it did it didn't matter, but we we make a million tricks. So Warren almost had a one no balance. We had twenty four points. What they do at the other tables with my hand? Double with Weinstein. They both doubled. Yeah. Wow. Aaron doubled. Oh, they must play some fancy system because... What do I have here? I have 10 highs. Uh, I'm going to make the qubit raise here. Uh, not this hand. It's funny, with 10 points, looking for an aggressive 3 no trump is less attractive than, than like when you have 10 points and your partner opens a major. Uh, but here, my five card club suit definitely is worth that extra trick. Uh, so I'm giving my partner the qubit raise. Uh, did partner being a passed hand affect me? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I, it didn't, I, I wasn't happy with my decision to pass either way. I just didn't like double. He passed. That should be a good good hand that 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 pass from Warren because we we should be forced to three clubs. Um, so his pass should be encouraging me. It should say I have something. If you have a little bit little bit extra, we probably have a game. Uh, but here we are, we don't. So um, I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I don't see us making a game. I think we have about 23 points between us, which usually means we should be leading trumps. Uh, because they're all the way at the three level and they don't have a spade fit and so um, I think that trumps is the right way to go I'm hoping Warren has but Warren could have bid two no trump 
Interestingly, he didn't bid two no trump, but that could be that he doesn't have a diamond stopper, or it could be that he doesn't have a spade stopper. Pass and two no trump kind of send the same message, except for two no trump is more natural by Warren. So I think that he probably has good spades and weak diamonds. I would guess that the opponents have solid diamonds. So I'm going to lead the jack, or maybe Warren's got the queen doubled into diamonds and didn't want to bid two no. Uh, I'm going to lead the jack of diamonds. If they've got really good spades, then I might, this might be foolish. But I think Warren's shape is most likely 4-4-2-3. Four, four, That's what I would, I think it is. He could be 3-4-4, four, 3-4-2-4 four, four, four also is possible. Um, okay. Uh, not unhappy with my lead at this stage with that singleton club and the three card dime fit. I guess I could have pretty much assumed that that was what was coming down in dummy, the singleton club and the three card diamond suit. But anyway, when you have a high card advantage over the opponents like this, like we have a, I have 20, I think we have 23. I had 10 and my partner said he didn't have a minimum. So we have a six point high card advantage. So they're, they're at that three level. They need nine tricks. I have to stop them from getting roughs. If I was worried, that's the only thing that would stop me from leading diamonds is if I felt like they had a source of tricks and spades. Because if they did have a full source of tricks and spades, then then drawing Trump is going to be foolish because then they'll just take their spades. So it could have been a hand where we needed to get our tricks set up. But because it felt like they didn't have a spade, I knew they don't have a spade fit because he didn't raise his partner's spades. Um, so... Yeah, so I I, I, I I started to assume that my partner has four spades, which means they're not going to take spade tricks, so I just need to cut down on their roughs, and that's how we're going to beat three diamonds, I hope. Yeah, no, one no in the ba balancing chair by a passed hand is natural. It's not unusual. Yeah, Krish, I don't know if I brought that up either. Yeah, so I guess partner being a passed hand on that last hand did affect my decision. So Warren's giving me suit preference. The three of diamonds means he likes the lowest suit, so he's got the clubs. Or he's got king three of diamonds. And if it goes nine of spades, I'm definitely going to cover with the jack. I actually think if it goes eight of spades, I'm going to cover with the jack. I can cover this. I don't need to play low. It doesn't matter. I'm happy to be the one who plays the second round of diamonds. I won't, unfortunately, be able to play a third round of diamonds. But I'm playing the eight here in case partner has king doubleton. There it is. Okay, so what do we know? Your spades aren't breaking there, my friend. So you had five diamonds, two spades, three, three. All right. So I did have Warren's shape right um, before the lead. He was 4-4-2-3. Four, four, that was what I thought was going on. And the trump lead was the killer. If I don't lead a trump, he, he can get a second rough, and that's just all he needed. Sixteen. Okay, so Warren and I play transfer Lebensall here. Two hearts or two spades would both just be natural into play. Two no trump would be Lebensall. Uh, and at the three level, we would play transfers, with the exception of uh, a cubid being shortness.
so that's a non-forcing natural bid. Um, I will, you know, I we now know that West has hearts and diamonds. I have a terrible hand for defending hearts and diamonds, so I'm always going to compete. I have a four card fit for partner unmentioned, but I don't have the right hand to give my partner a raise right now to three spades because I don't have a super accept. I could have a much better hand than this in support of my partner. Imagine if my queen of hearts um, bid your other suit. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm going to pass now again just to show partner that I don't have the good hand. There's no there's no surprise what his other suit is. So 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 I'm not actually helping them by letting him bid three hearts. Um, but by passing and then bidding three spades now, I'm letting Warren know that I don't have that super accept hand. Because Warren might have like seven points. Um, well, that's annoying. Now I have no choice but to bid. Uh, maybe that was stupid. I should have just left him. He's got. He's gonna for sure make this hand. Like I don't see how he could go down. Uh, so I'm. I maybe I. Should, I, I should have maybe pa thought about this in advance and passed three. Uh, I just can't imagine how he's gonna go down in four four hearts. I have queen double with hearts and an onside king of diamonds. Oh, uh, what did I do to myself here? Balanced him into game. And he knows now that his partner's got short spades. So Dan's got three spades. Like I'm thinking, like, why would Dan not have bid four hearts? So he must have learned something when 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 he by my three spade bid that made him bid four hearts. So I think Dan has a singleton club, three spades, or and 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 five four in the red suits. Or so what does that mean? That means we we're just not beating this. But then again, we're probably going down at least two. So I don't see it. I don't see how it could be right for me to bid. I'm just going to let him have it. I feel like we're going down at least two. And um, can we be making four? No. King, jack, fifth of spades. King, fifth of clubs. He would have bid already, Warren, if he's 5-5. Five, five. He's Warren's got diamond length. Doubleton Hart. Ah, oh, whatever. I, I I could be going for five for eight hundred. I screwed this up. I had to leave him in three hearts. Hard with a nine card spade fit. I just didn't see this one coming. So that's not what happened. Dan did not have three spades. Maybe he had one spade. He's six. He's five five or six four. Yeah, I don't think he. I. I feels like he's six four two one or five five two one. I have to take the ace of clubs here. Nine of clubs is a weird card. Because Dan would never show me the nine, if he if he didn't have to. So Dan has king nine double ten of clubs. He doesn't have king nine eight of clubs. He would not expose the nine. That would be a really weird thing to do to show me that my partner had led the ten without the nine. Uh, he wouldn't do that. So I know Dan has king nine double ten of clubs. I would have been better off to just, uh, um, yeah, whatever. He's gonna make this hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play ace queen of spades. Why would he play the nine? No, he doesn't leave the 10 from king 10 third, so. I was thinking I was going to give him club roughs. That was going to be my best chance to beat this hand. Uh, turns out it wasn't. 
No, oh, I was I was hoping that Warren would not think here and tell say where the King of Spades is. Maybe there was still a chance that uh, um, Dan would get the uh, the heart wrong. All right, well, pushed him into it. What a bid Dan made. We were getting smoked anyway. They, we were going to lose a club. Three diamonds is four, and two hearts is six. So we were going for 500 anyway, and four spades doubled. Well, okay, so I'm a passed hand. So this is not a spot where I can afford to bid two hearts. Uh, I'm going to bid because he might pass with a doubleton. So I'm not even going to introduce my hearts. I'm just going to show my partner the limit raise. In fact, I'm going to game regardless on this hand. I wonder why Dan bid three and then four. Oh man, how are we going to? How could we be going down on this hand? Like I don't know what changed in Dan's mind. He didn't learn anything new. I wonder. I wonder what I'll ask him after. All right, Warren's double um, was a penalty. I mean, he was saying he bid four spades to make, and he has values. I can double, but I only have a stiff club. I'm going to pass because I, I actually wouldn't mind if Warren does bid five spades. All right, so again, I'm probably just going to lead a club. I don't, I don't see any reason for me to lead another suit. We have the spades locked up, probably. Dummy's going to hit with short spades and club length. He, Dummy's four no trump bid. He has like six diamonds and three clubs, and and one spade and three hearts or something like that. I'm going to lead a club either way. Um, I might have just pickled a club trick here for for Warren. But on the bright side, I didn't lead a spade into the doubler who doubled us for what seems like penalty of All right, Warren's giving me suit preference for diamonds. Uh,
So Declare had three spades and six clubs. Is nine cards. They. Yeah, Warren. Warren has the. Re he has King Jack, King of Spades. He has almost what looks like the King of Clubs. Um. I'm gonna play the Ten of Clubs to give him count. So Declara had two diamonds, three spades, six clubs, and two hearts is what it seems like. Need a second to load a new set. We're only playing for 15. Um, yeah, I guess I, I, there's no reason to load a new set. We'll just keep playing because we're only playing for another 15 minutes. Oh, we're done? Okay, never mind. We're done. Did my lead hurt us there on this last hand? I could have taken Ace King of Diamonds, Ace Queen of Hearts. Yeah, it definitely did hurt us. It gave him like an entry to take the finesse. I have 15. I could overcall a no trump or I could double. I think I'm just gonna double. Um, partner's a passed hand. Uh, it's pretty dangerous to overcall a no trump. It's pretty easy to double for penalties. Uh, a diamond and no trump double is penalty, and it's and they're going to be good at doing that and getting that number. So I, I'd rather just take the safe approach. Takeout double is kind of in and out. It's actually kind of easy to get a number against a takeout doubler, but we have more ways that like partner could just have a fit for one of my suits. And now it's I'm I'm very happy that I only doubled and didn't bid one no here. Uh, partner's a passed hand, so like my 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 range for like getting to a game is really small. Like partner has to have like ten or eleven, eleven that they chose not to open, or ten, and we belong in game. And even then, it's a twenty-five point game. So I think that the upside of one no is very low, and the downside's pretty real. If partner's got nothing, I I I could take like three tricks in one no and go for eight hundred. You know, so maybe at this vulnerability, it's not the end of the world. But I have fifteen points, so if you give partner another two points, like the queen double ten of hearts. Uh, then we're just going to be going for for a, a number, and we will we have 17 points, so the opponents won't have a game. So that's kind of the risk in overcalling a no trump. I'm not a fan of overcalling aggressive one nose as a opposite a past hand partner.
There you go, Warren, getting in there with his... He doesn't have very much over there, but enough. Interesting, Dan had ace, king, queen, fifth of hearts. It didn't rebid two hearts, didn't open two hearts, didn't op re open a one heart. He's got nothing else in his hand, right? That must be what it means, is that every other card is with east. So we're going to go down. Because, uh, oh, not necessarily, I guess. So we need two entries, though, to, to, to Warren's hand. So nine of spades means that he probably has three clubs and two spades, unfortunately. But we know the ace, queen of clubs are both on side. So Warren's going to come to his hand and lead a club to the jack, and then he's going to have to come back to his hand and lead a club towards the king. The way he can get back to his hand, if he plays a club, diamond, diamond and nine, diamond into his hand and leads a club to his jack, uh, he can rough a diamond back to his hand. No, that's not, oh, that's actually an interesting play, but now what does he need? He, now he, he's playing for ace, queen, ten of clubs on side. Because if spades are 3-3, three, three, he's, he's, he's just gone down in a cold contract. He now needs ace queen ten of clubs third on on side. I'm not sure this was the right approach. I don't know if the nine of spades had to be a doubleton. Because another spade and Dan can rough with the ten of clubs. And then we lose the ace of clubs, which is probably going to happen anyway. It's not going to matter which card you play from Warren. You're rough from Dummy Warren. You're roughing in your hand. Yeah, there's that ten of clubs. That's too bad. Now he throws the king of spades from Dummy, and leads the nine of clubs from his hand, and that'll save him two down. Because he again, he knows the ace queen of clubs are both on side. You have to throw the king of spades here. Oh, I guess he doesn't have to. It's the same. It was ace, queen, double, ten of clubs, which doesn't help him. They set up their spade rough. That nine of spades shift was the killer, because uh, uh, what that meant was east could pop, pop up with the ace of clubs, play ace of spades, spade rough, and the hand was over. Warren tried to combat that by throwing away a spade from his hand, but it didn't help. All right, ten more minutes. Heart to the nine. So Declare has got king, queen, jack for sure because my partner would have put up an honor if he had it. Uh, I'm going to still tell him. What's what's the auction here? One, no, three, no. Do I tell him I like hearts or not? No, I guess I'm going to want him to shift to spades. Uh, can he have enough points? Six in hearts. Ace of clubs is 10, 11, 12, 13. I guess I'm going to tell him I don't like hearts. Uh, we play Smith, so low, high, and clubs would tell him I don't like the opening lead. And then I'll tell him I have the king of spades here. It's not that's going to really matter. Too bad. Blew a trick. We lost a seven. Oh, we're we're not on view graph hands anymore. So 
I forgot. Like it's, you can't lose seven. Like the opponents had a had a normal game and were completely cold for game. So losing seven imps when that happens in a view graph match would be really really weird. But playing in the, like the general bridge club that'll happen to you. That's why when you're playing, you can't really look at the results. Um, all right, that's a good hand to pass. This is a perfect pass of two diamonds because uh, if partner doesn't balance over two diamonds, we will not have a game, and it probably means par partner has diamond length. Now, I think I might want to double this for penalty. Um, get a diamond lead. Let's look at dummy. Yeah, I'm doing it. Even though it might, maybe this is the wrong bib, but maybe it's funny. And maybe it's fun anyway. It's uh, it's a double. It's it's basically letting Warren know that I have good diamonds because I didn't any. There's no hand that I would pass over two diamonds and then come back in over three no like for takeout. That's not a hand. That there's no such hand. So this double is going to clearly let Warren know that I was trapping in diamonds. Um, now whether that's going to work out well for me, they might just be completely cold for three no with because they have. 27 points so I, it's not clear I would do this in real life uh, but why not try something see how it works if Warren doesn't have any diamonds that's not gonna work very well and Warren doesn't have any diamonds oops I'm like don't lead your suit I knew you know he has clubs what am I supposed to do yeah Well, this isn't going terribly. Could have been worse. They could have just made a whole bunch of over tricks in the sand. I've seen this one before. I'm covering this one. No getting through here. I've given Warren count in hearts, so if he had queen four of the hearts, he would know that uh, he was safe. It looks like we're they're going to make three. Uh, Declare has king, ace, king of clubs, and the king of hearts left, I think. down one he didn't uh, he that was only eight tricks sweet my double <laughs> I don't know what it did it was just it was just noise in the grand scheme of things um, yeah they just only ever had three clubs a diamond is four three hearts is seven and a spade is eight What do you open two diamonds? I don't mind it. White against red? I don't mind that at all. Alright, perfect. I don't need to invite. 5 3 3 2. I guess this is going to be the last hand. Unless I claim quickly. So this is 2 no is unusual in this spot. He would never be bidding 2 no natural. Uh, he, he So he's showing. 
Wow. That's an interesting three hour bid from Warren. I kind of think we might have a game now. Like Ace Queen, Fifth of Hearts, and King, Third of Spades, we have 11 top tricks. Ace Jack, Sixth of Hearts, and the King of Spades, and we've got 12 top tricks. I'm bidding game. In case he's got six hearts and three spades, I'm going to bid four hearts. Yeah, it's, it's difference when you're in the balancing chair versus like he's probably five four. He's probably not five five in this auction. Once we find a fit, it's a little less dangerous to come into the bidding because we have a fit. They're likely to have a fit. All right, too bad. Down one. Queen of Diamonds was a useless card. And the Queen Jack of Hearts were kind of not my perfect holding. I was hoping for Ace Six of Hearts and the King of Spades or Ace Jack Six of Hearts. Maybe it was too much to hope for, but also just a singleton in one of the in 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 clubs would have been pretty good. And three diamonds, that would have been enough. Yeah. I don't see how this can work now, what he's doing right now. I think he's just going down an extra trick for no reason. Thank you. It's definitely more enjoyable doing this and talking to you guys and going through it. I uh, found today I was a little less talkative. It's a little easier for me to play well if I'm not answering a whole bunch of questions while I'm playing. It's kind of a mix, you know, like I, on the one set, one hand, if I'm, you know, it's much more valuable if I'm answering your questions, but uh, doing two things at once is not my specialty. All right, where are we? Um, I have six count. I'm just going to give my partner a raise. I don't see any reason to introduce the heart suit. Oops. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. I'm going to be jumping into the 3 p.m. speedball right after this. Interesting. No, I can't stream. You can't stream ACBL tournaments. You can't do that. There's Everybody's playing the same hands at the same time, so... Yeah, no, I'm not doing it though. It's with students, and and I, it's not. It's different. It's, I wouldn't be streaming, but yeah, I could do it with a delay. But I don't. I, whatever. Not not gonna happen. All right. Well, feels like I need to lead a heart. They're almost certainly ready for spades, but 
and Warren's almost certainly got a two suitor with spades and hearts. Like I feel like Warren's got a ton of spades here, so I'm gonna lead a heart. Hope that that's the killing lead. It was not the killing lead. Looks like they might make a slam. How'd this go? And double for values. I mean, Den's got a good hand here. After that, Fart Finesse wins, I can only imagine this hand's going to get a lot easier for him. Like, It looks like the diamonds can set up and he can draw trumps, but we'll see what happens. No, Hartley looks like it was the best lead. I'm taking entries off of the board. Let me get... I got to register before it runs out. This is a what's going on here. So he, he's tapping the dummy, which doesn't seem like it's the best plan here. He's got a stiff diamond. Okay. No problem, Lena. Thank you. So now he's discovered the diamonds are 3-3, three, three, so he could have had an easy time with this hand, but now it's gotten a lot more complicated because he's uh, he, he's not going to be able to rough out, like, now he's going to, like, he leads a good diamond. I have a trump, so Warren should not use his trumps. He should pitch a heart, Warren. It can't hurt him to pitch his heart, maybe. Well, maybe it can. Maybe Warren's going to need to get in with a club and then, and then knock out the ace hearts. I don't really see what's, what could possibly be going on here. He has five clubs on my right, so like he's already roughed two spades. Yeah, there's nothing to this. Ace of clubs. Thanks, guys. Making seven. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I will uh, reach out soon, Wednesday morning with Rob. I, I'll, we'll probably have one more practice session before next week, uh, before we leave for Poland for the World Championships. Uh, remember, if you want to play in my duplicate games, it's free. Uh, it's on Bridge Base. You just need – it's a 3.30 on Tuesday, this week and next week. We have two more games before uh, we're done for the summer. And then – 
Uh, you just need to email your B bridge base name. It's free for anybody. Tell your friends. Bring people. We had about 30 tables last week, and it's growing, and people seem to be liking.